The Buffalo Bills named Katherine Smith the first female full-time NFL coach. Her official title, Special Teams Quality Control Coach. Congrats to her. She will enter her 14th year in the NFL next season, joining the Bills coaching ranks after spending 2015 as the team's administrative assistant to the head coach prior to joining the Bills in 2015. She spent 12 seasons working for the New York Jets. Skip, what's your reaction to this hire of Katherine Smith? Molly, Stephen A., I found this hiring to be a significant step, but unfortunately a, a very small step in the way of progress in having women coach in the National Football League. Let's look quickly at Katherine Smith's background. She played lacrosse at Syracuse. She was a student manager for the basketball team at St. John's. She was an administrative assistant, directs with the Jets, then with the Bills. And now she's been hired to basically be the assistant to the assistant special teams coach in charge of quality control, or in today's parlance, analytics. Mm -hmm. Now, I remind everyone, a lot of great coaches got their start in the entry-level position known as quality control. Will she be allowed to actually coach the special teams players on the field? I sure hope so, but I will believe that when I see it. Now. The, the new owner, fairly new owner of the Bills, Terry Pagula, his wife Kim has taken a very active role, it appears to me, in owning and operating the Bills. So I'm hoping she had some influence here and will continue to have some influence in just how much that Catherine Smith is allowed to do in the way of actually coaching the football players. But we all know Rex Ryan likes to make splashes, so, so now he's made three off-season splashes, in, in part, in my opinion, from a distance, to maybe distract a little bit from the team with all the hoopla and the hype that missed the playoffs. So he hires his twin, Rob, to come in and help with the defense. He hires Ed Reed, a player he coached, a great player in Baltimore, to come in and help with the defense. And now Catherine Smith. Is it more showmanship? With Rex, you can never quite be sure but he compared Catherine Smith to the position now held by Becky Hammond with my San Antonio Spurs. And that was a bit much because I'm pretty sure Becky Hammond is in a legitimate coaching position and it is great to watch. As you know, I watch every Spurs game, gonna watch them again tonight at Phoenix, and I watch closely Becky. Now she's one of, what is it, like six assistants that Pop has. She sits in the second row with, with three other assistants but she has input to my eyes because she'll talk to players during the game as they walk out at halftime. Tony Parker will clearly seek her advice because Becky Hammond played basketball professionally at a high level as one of the smartest point guards in the history of women's or maybe even men's basketball. So Tony Parker will seek her counsel. Love to see it. I think she's got a chance to one day be a head coach in the National Basketball Association. I'm hoping that, that Catherine, this isn't just in name only or just for show, uh, we will see what Rex actually does when football starts. Well, first of all, I think that it's wrong to put Rex on a hot seat. At least he did something. Uh, so I think he deserves to be given credit for that. Let me also say this. Um, I understand that it's a big deal to a lot of people in this world. I look at it differently. It's not a big deal at all to me. As far as I'm concerned, it's a slap in the face to some degree. Not as it pertains to Catherine Smith, but to the fact that this is still a subject. Let me be very, very clear about where I stand. I believe, particularly with the bevy of issues that the NFL has endured and suffered from over the last two years, I believe there should be a female on every single NFL squad as a coach in some capacity. I don't think it should be completely and unequivocally dominated by males. I also believe, you know, the Becky Ammons of the world and what they were able to do in terms of her being an assistant coach in San Antonio. I wouldn't mind it, it seeing an assistant on every team in the, in the National Basketball Association. There are, the, in the WNBA, which by and large men just don't watch, 
The fact of the matter is there's several male coaches in the WNBA. There's several male coaches co coaching women's basketball on the collegiate level. So as far as I'm concerned, if that's the case, why shouldn't females be coaching on, uh, on every level in professional sports? I think, I think just like there's a Rooney rule in, uh, you know, in, in the National Football League as it pertains to the hiring of minority coaches, I think there should be two rules. I certainly don't think that rule should go away. As a matter of fact, I think that rule should be elevated to include coordinators as well because, you know what, a coordinators that get the opportunity to actually have the responsibilities that come along with being a coordinator, as Herm Edwards uh, pointed out, when it comes to African Americans. But as it pertains to females, I think there should be a rule instituted in, in regards to that as well. I think that a lot of women out there are incredibly qualified and deserve the opportunity to have a head coach, you know, a coaching opportunities. And if and if they are qualified, which I'm sure there are many who are, and they desperately want to do this, I think that there should be a mandate to interview a female as well, not one or the other, not uh, not an African American or a woman, both. Mm -hmm. I think. They should be they, they there should be inclusion on every single roster in this world that we're living in. If you're a, 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 a you know if you're a corporation, and in corporate America, you can't just have all white employees or all Hispanic employees or all black employees. There has to be a mixture. It has. We are an inclusionary society. We are a mosaic. Some would call us a gorgeous mosaic. I think considering the fact that we're here in North America, that we're talking about the United States of America, why should there be anything that doesn't include women, that doesn't include blacks, that doesn't include whites, that doesn't include Hispanics? Everybody should be a part of the pie because that's how you live up to what America is supposed to be all about. So this is not a big deal to me. I understand it is a big deal. I don't mean it that way. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal for Catherine Smith, and it's a big deal that Rex was willing to do this, and it's a big deal because it's a first step. But what I'm trying to say is that this is the year 2015, and we're still 16. talking about first steps. Mm -hmm. 2016, yeah. I'm sorry. And we're still talking about first steps? Really? I think, that's a, I think that's a crying shame. As far as I'm concerned, this will be a Catherine Smith on every single NFL team. Okay, obviously, back in training camp, Arizona, Bruce Arians brought in yes. Jen Welter, who was actually playing semi-pro football with men, and she just participated as the linebacker coach through, tra through the mm -hmm. preseason. So, and that was the end of that. The, the difficulty women have with the NFL as opposed to the NBA is there aren't leagues for women to actually play football in below. So the pipeline is, is drier on that side than it would be well, on the NBA side with the WNBA and obviously women's college basketball. It may be drier, and that is absolutely true, and that's a great point on your part, Skip. The flip side to it is that there are coaches in the NFL who never played. Absolutely the case. So what I'm saying is, yeah, exactly. Yeah, go, go so back what I'm and saying look at is, Ben we, McAdoo's record and Adam Gaze's playing <laughs> records. Yeah, yeah just check them out. All, all I'm saying is, they, we 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 find a way for them to get jobs. Mm -hmm. How can we can't find a way for some of these females to get jobs? I agree. I, I think that that's something that should be looked at. And according to our Jane McManus, this is part of a concerted effort by the NFL to include more women. Roger Goodell spoke up about it at a, at a recent meeting. The league's hosting an invite-only conference on women in sports at the Super Bowl this year. They you know are. who would like to his, go there? His wife is going to participate. I'd Goodell's like to be wife. invited. Oh, you would? I would. Oh, so are you I, campaigning on the air I, for this? I am. I'm campaigning. Uh -huh. I, I would like to be there. I think you'd be fantastic. I think you'd be fantastic as a panelist, Molly. We could discuss it on the show. I well, would well, love that. Well, now that Stephen A. Smith second in the motion, it's going to happen. It's over you're there you're there okay i love yeah, it it's quite possible yeah. all right is josh gordon there he 